Morning fellas, Ben back again. One of my subscribers requested a video on, uh, or requested uh, me to answer one of those big questions. And uh, that is how to tackle water crossing on a Himalayan without getting the airbox flooded. Well, I've been thinking about this for a really long time. There's all sorts of fixes out there. Um, many have d done something that I've done too, but um, um, that is, let, let me just clarify that that is not a permanent fix and that is not something uh, that I would uh, recommend as a 100% a fix. But this 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 uh, sure does help. It it did help me. I've been uh, this has been on the motorcycle for some time now, and I've been testing it on a daily basis. So what I mean by that is uh, there's a lot of testing that's gone into it, and uh, this is definitely not some uh, uh, you know patch up job like a jugard uh, in Hindi. <laughs> Let me just uh, get rid of the uh, zip ties for you and then I'll show you what I mean. So that's one. That's two. And this should be three. Okay, so. Uh, yeah that's the fix so this is the fix and what is this this is a very high quality uh, plastic now the difference between a high quality plastic and a low quality plastic is, is this this thing is flexible as hell and yet quite rigid this thing is going to be on the motorcycle for as long as the motorcycle um, lives <laughs> So uh, this is from a very high quality document file, documenting file, more like an art file. So I'm an artist and I have uh, a lot of these files with me. These are very expensive files. You're looking at uh, 500, 600 rupees for uh, an A3 size file. And uh, uh, I mean, I've had plenty uh, with me over these years. So I just took one from my archives and I cut out a portion like this. It took me some time to find out what should be the right size. Uh, this is the template, if you guys can see. Well, that's about it. You can replicate this. Um, I don't think I need to give you measurements, but that would be the size. So you're looking at about uh, four and a half, five inches by four inches. Four and a half, five inches by four inches and, and a shape like that. Yeah, so you can replicate this. This took me some time to understand how deep should it be, how high should it be, how tall should it be. This is the exact size that you guys can replicate. Uh, and you can, of course, make tweaks. Three holes like that to uh, hold on to the frame. One more thing. This is the most important thing. So I put this in and I gave the bike a test. I mean, I was riding around and I, I could very clearly understand the bike was um, suffering from uh, lack of air. I mean, it, was, it wasn't getting enough air. I mean, this is uh, coming from years of riding motorcycles and understanding motorcycles and understanding air fuel mixture. So you, you guys might not be able to sense it, sense it but uh, not, not everybody is going to be able to sense it, but you can take my word for it. This is the mod that I've done to the intake. If you guys can see, this is not how the factory intake looks. The factory intake is straight. What I did was I chopped off so much and I've kind of increased the air volume. What this does is it blocks air. So if you were to put it like this, it's going to be blocking a ton of air and you don't want that. And, and if the intake is pretty close like that, then you have very little uh, room for suction of air. And so I drilled so much. Uh, I'm still testing this. Um, the air fuel mixture seems okay. -ish. If it's still going to, uh, you know, I'm going to take the bike to higher altitude and see. If it's going to suffer, 
then I'm definitely going to cut open a little more. So I'm going to open up that much. Well, on planes, I'm on sea level. This seemed to do it for me. If I were to climb up, if I were to go up on the altitude, then I'm going to cut this much out and allow more air to pass. So that's the, that's the mods. Now, this I haven't tested on wet terrain. I was riding around in rain and all seemed well, but that is not water crossing business. This I have tested on sand. The number one reason why I did this was to take care of sand going into the air box. And this works like a charm on sand. This just took all the hits. Not, nothing, nothing went past this. There's another advantage to having a very nice quality plastic is that it has a very slippery texture to it. Anything and everything that hits it is going to fall down. It's not going to cling to it. If you were to put rubber and, uh, you know, related, uh, I mean, similar items, similar material, which is malleable and uh, has a little bit of a, a stiction, a sticky texture to it, any dirt and dust that gets thrown off by the wheel is going to get stuck to it. But this particular thing is very, very, very slippery to touch. You put anything, you pour anything onto it, slush, mud, everything just, get, just falls off. It's not going to stick and hold on to it. Well, uh, so that's how it's going to be. One zip tie through here. The second one and So I'm using, um, so, um, and the third one over here. So if you guys watch very closely, I'm using the uh, pillion footrest uh, as anchor points. One over here, one over here, and one over here. So these are anchor points, so that they, they are a fixed, uh, they are in a fixed uh, position, and they uh, don't move around. Um, and that's how you know that, you know, this, this thing is not going to be sliding back and forth, up and down. It's going to stay put right there. Very important uh, details, little bits and pieces that make a difference. Yeah, so all of it done, done and dusted. There's just a little bit of gap over here, but that I don't think is going to be... Um, you know, water getting sucked in. Uh, at least the sand, the sand part of it falls down. It doesn't get sucked in from there. And uh, yeah, so a mouth like that and a sheet of plastic. That should do it. That's a done and dusted deal. This has been on the motorcycle for about 100 kilometers now. I've tested it thoroughly. The bike runs well uh, with this mod in sea level. Again, this might not work uh, at higher altitudes. So altitude business, you'll have to figure it out on your own. How much more should you open to let more air in? Yeah, so that was it. If this helped, it helped. I shall come back on the next one uh, with another tip for you guys and for your lovely Himalayans. Until then, this is Ben signing out for now. Ciao.